All right, we're going to jump into a few more games with this silly Esper Sweeper deck. Uh, again, we know very, very well that this is not a good deck, but it is very, very fun. Uh, so we're just going to give it another uh, few games here and see what we can do. Uh, hopefully you guys watched the first video uh, for this one. Uh, if you did not, I do go over the deck a little bit more in detail there. Uh, so I'd highly suggest checking that out. Uh, and we will keep this hand. So... Uh, the, the reason this is called the Esper 12 Sweepers deck is because it literally runs 12 Sweepers. Uh, so any early game interaction is great just to slow them down. And then Sweepers to clear the board, uh, is, is kind of the idea here, uh, uh with Dream Trawlers and things like that to finish the game. So, uh, we do have a few Planeswalkers as well. Um, what we found is obviously against any kind of creature deck, it's like super good, uh, against any kind of control deck obviously less good, but, uh, we're, we're gonna give it a shot here. Destroy target creature or planeswalker. I don't care significantly about either of these, so I'm gonna take into the story, um, and I think we'll throw that out. Um, they're not gonna have many targets to hit with, uh, Murder Sider or the Borrower, so I'm kind of okay if they just want to play those out, we can shatter. Uh, if need be. <laughs> one top, one bottom. Interesting. Okay. Um, we'll just go ahead and play a Watery Grave and pass. <laughs> Don't think we want to thin the deck too much with the Fabled Passages quite yet. Uh, certainly at some point soon we will want to get there. Uh, so we do give them a target here. Uh, with Teferi, but, uh, and they may be able to just counter this here, I don't know. Okay. I don't really want to bounce. Um, like, this is a terrible card to bounce, because then they can just play it again. So I'm just going to plus it, bait out the Murderous Rider here, uh, which is fine. Um, go ahead and get a second block. We've got this, the white in hand. And another Fable Passage. Also, if you guys hear rain in the background, I do apologize. There's a window right over here that's, and it's pouring down rain here in South Carolina at the moment. <coughs> Let's see what they do. Overwhelmed Apprentice. Okay. Interesting. They just hit two sweepers. That's kind of funny. Two cards on the bottom. Okay. Yep. Oops. Let's do... Let's do this. We'll Teferi here. And I'm actually okay with just bouncing this guy. Just to draw another card. Um, if they want to, if they want to take down to fairy, that's fine. Uh, if you guys do have any deck suggestions, by the way, please make sure to leave those in the comment section. I, I'm at the point now where like I've played a lot of the, I'll say, widely renowned, more powerful decks, uh, which is really fun. But I kind of like to experiment and play with silly stuff, hence this deck. Uh, and so anything that you suggest, I'm absolutely uh, happy to at least take a look at and certainly consider as a playable option. Um, yeah, let's do this. We'll get rid of a murderous rider here. Do we care about this? I actually don't think so. Let's do that. Um, we're actually going to pass here. Uh, we can play at instant speed, so I'm not worried about. Go ahead and shatter. Uh, 
Bounce to Fairy, that's fine. We are down to only three cards, all of which we know about. Throw this out tapped. Hmm. Hmm hmm. I think again we're trying to bait out this murderous rider here. Uh we kinda don't want them to kill the dream eater. They're trying to mill us out a little bit here. Uh oh, excuse me. Drive a lock, yeah, duh. Um, so we're just trying to bait stuff out so we can get the Dream Eater out now. Whoop, okay, well, they're probably gonna either take that or the Elspeth Conqueror's death here. Uh, maybe the Kai's Wrath, but who knows. All of these are very powerful, so, yeah, Dream Eater, makes sense. Go ahead and do this. Thin out the deck a little bit further. I think we'll get, yeah, let's get a white. Um, they know about this. Ah, I'm going to hold on to it. Um, they have the, the long-term answer to pretty much everything we want to do, so we'll see what they can do here. My assumption is they're just going to hold this rider. We can also just kind of pump out some some little guys here. Swing in for one. Woo. So we can do this on the brazen borrower. I think that's worth it at this point. They may have a counter here. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Good for us that they just drew a land. Of course, we're only drawing lands too, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and Kai's Wrath here. They're not going to play this out as long as they know I have that, so. We'll just go ahead and do this. Not correct to do that here, but it is what it is. Okay. Yep. Very possible we should use a Castle Vantress in this deck. I like to have a few basics, though, uh, that we can search out just because of the... Uh, we'll say high mana demand in this set, in this deck. Excuse me. Uh, and I prioritize creatures above that. So I'm gonna hold on to the land here. Um, if we do get like a dream trawler, for instance, we're gonna want some discard fodder, especially if they've got riders and things like that. Two to the top. Okay. Yeah. They've really taken us down on cards here. <laughs> Two more to the top. Spit out another token. I think we pass here. I would love it if they just murder a Strider one of these. Oh my goodness, they are. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's fine.
I'm going to double block here. Fully expecting that they have a way to kill one of these and we just get lose both of them. That's fine. I don't super care. Great thing about this is they are very repeatable. Yep, that's fine. They're playing it so safe, it's ridiculous. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Get the last card out of their hand. Try on the lock, sure. Pass. Okay. Oof. I actually thought Erasure is bad. Teferi would have been okay, but truly not great against this deck. Bouncing all of their stuff does not seem great. I'm just going to take the one here. Such a slow grindy match. That helps. Let's go ahead and play Narset. Do this first. I guess we take planar cleansing. It doesn't seem great, because we're going to lose all of our stuff too, but... Pass here. Go ahead and mortify this. If they've got a counter, they got it. That's fine. Yep. <laughs> well... I guess we just do it. Pass the turn. See what they got. Murderous Rider, I think obvious come down. Uh, whatever they've got in their hand, though, is obviously going to be kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, we play this. Counter it, I assume. Yep. Oof. I think we're going to lose this game. It's just such a grindy match. Um, they've hit so many of our uh, of our sweepers here, and we're getting down to only a few cards left. I think even if we could get enough pressure on the field, we're in rough shape to try and get them so quickly. I'm not going to block that. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and concede here. Unfortunately, I don't think we were going to get it. Uh, excuse me one second, guys. I do have a knock at the door, so I will be right back.
All right, sorry about that, guys. Uh, Amazon dropped by, so I had to go pick up a quick package. All right, uh, we're gonna jump into game two here. Hopefully, uh, we can get at least one win out of this. Uh, it again, not expecting a lot. This deck is absolutely stupid, but it's fun. <laughs> um, again, deck suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to check those out. Uh, any kind of silly decks I'm super into right now. So, um. Ideally, we need more land, but I'm going to try this. Uh, we do have this turn to Agonizing Remorse, which is, I think, quite good. Uh, so, let's see what they got. Love the Fibble Thip deck sleeves. Okay. Dovin's Veto. Yeah, let's take that. So next turn we get to Agonizing Remorse again. Uh, unfortunately our 12 sweepers are not gonna be super good against this, but that's okay. Uh, the one thing I will say is they are okay against um, specifically Dream Trawler. You can get some good stuff in there. Um, I think let's get rid of a Narset. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Continuous hand destruction. I assume they have a counter here, otherwise they wouldn't have left that up. Oh, they're just gonna brazen borrower. Sure. Uh get rid of the Narset. We're gonna drop that down. We really just need a land, uh, so we can get rid of these this particular brazen borrower. Uh so we'll see what we can do. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I just keep drawing discard spells, so I'm just gonna keep discarding. Uh, what do they got? Another Brazen Borrower. Sure. I mean, we'll take Glass Casket. Don't want that. Again, we really, really need a land because we're taking a lot of damage now. Um, yeah. If we can't draw a land, I think we just lose here. Why did they take two? That's interesting. Oh, I guess to uh, Castle of Antris. Shatter. <clears throat> Get rid of their creatures. So, what do we need now? Something good. <laughs> uh, two to the bottom, that's good for us. Hopefully they just drew like a land. That'd be fine. Uh, that's not good for us. But, what are you going to do? Yep. Two more to the bottom. Interesting. I mean, we'll Teferi here. Unfortunately, we don't have much else he can do. They have a counter. Just get rid of it. Submit zero, let's just draw a card. Good. So at least now we're getting, or we're up to like time warp, or time wipe mana, excuse me. So if they do come up with a creature, we can time wipe it. Um. Perfect. Fine by me. I'm just going to go ahead and do this here. Um, because of Teferi, I didn't necessarily have to, but uh, I don't want them to draw a counter spell, so... I'd rather be able to do this now for sure and get rid of the Dream Trawler. This is where I said uh, it does work really well to get rid of Dream Trawler because Hexproof doesn't matter uh, against Sweepers, obviously, so puts us in a much better position. We're going to enter this tapped. I know that does mean we can't leave up Dream Eater, uh, but I don't want to be in a position where, you know, we play a land out, uh, 
and then we're down to literally just three life. That seems like very, very bad uh, for future brazen borrowers, anything like that. So we've already taken care of two of their borrowers. So my assumption is uh, they don't have one in hand. Uh, otherwise, they probably would have played it there anyway, just to get rid of Teferi uh, or just try and kill us, to be honest. I'm going to cash this in, let them try and discard a card here, uh, that's fine, and then planar cleansing. And if they don't, cool, then I get to leave up Dream Eater. Perfect. Yeah. Exactly what we wanted to happen. Don't actually need that now. Planar cleansing. Really happy to do that. That gets the shatter out of their hands, so Dream Meter is a little bit safer. <coughs> uh, that's also the second Dream Trawler. I don't know how many they run. Uh, it tends to vary a little bit. I've seen some with all four. I've seen some with only two. So we could have very easily just gotten rid of one of their most uh, live draws, we'll say. Um, we'll pass here. So now we can either start spitting out 1-1s one or get Dream Eater on, online. I'm going to obviously opt for the Dream Eater if I can. Um, but we'll see. Really interesting matchup against control decks, uh, I think. Omen. Yeah, you got it. I'm going to go for a Dream Eater here. I'm going to do it specifically here, I think. Don't need you. Do I need that? Hmm. I don't think I need Kai's Wrath either. I think I'm going to keep the Elspeth Conquer's death on top. That may not be correct, but I'm going to decline. Do not want to bounce that back just so they can draw more cards. That seems bad. Uh, specifically, I did this here because they're down to only two mana, so there's, I think, Mystical Dispute would have been the only thing that they could have played, really. Uh, Devin's Veto obviously doesn't do it, so... Really, really like Dream Eater. I know it's kind of like a, a not super widely played card solely because it dies so easily uh, with only three toughness. Uh, and obviously Dream Trawler is a better card because it has hexproof or pseudo hexproof, I should say. Uh, but being able to flash this in uh, at any given time is awesome. Uh, absolutely love it. So one top, one bottom. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we get to Elspeth Conquer's death, their Elspeth Conquer's death, which seems fun. We could have also just um, planar cleansing here, uh, but I'd rather wait till we have like a Dream Trawler or something like that to deal with. Don't know if they've got one, but ah, there you go. Much rather would do that. Opponent playing a bit slow. We'll pull out this. That's fine. Let's go for it. Again, only running into one mana, so they could not have countered that. Uh, Dovin's Veto would have been backbreaking there if they had had another land. Let's grab one to bottom. Great. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Uh, yeah. 
We're gonna pass turn here. Assume they're gonna scry with Vantress, in which case we can Dream Eater out uh, once they have very few lands untapped again. And then we are really just kind of at the mercy of whatever they've got, so let's hope it goes well. Be happy with that. Don't care. Don't care. Probably okay with Teferi as well. Yeah. I'm going to keep the time wipe on top. Again, it's a catch-all against all these Dream Trawlers. They've already had three, so my assumption is they're probably playing all four. Uh, they also do have the Brazen Borrowers, which can trade off with Dream Eater. Uh, so let's go ahead and swing in. Uh, if they do have a Borrower, they flash it in, they kill. It is what it is, but they at least trade off, so. And we'll pass. Surprising this stuck, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Spit out our 1-1. One, one. Another time wipe. Okay. Uh, let's swing in first. This deck hangs on. You gotta give it credit. It it's hung on pretty strongly against this deck. It's very silly, but it's it's hung on. I don't know what they would be considering here really. Good to fairy. Okay, they conceded. Didn't think they needed to at that position, but hey, they did. So we did win a game. Uh, let's see if we can do one more. Uh, God, this is so... I, I love this deck. It's just so fun. Um, we'll hopefully not be against a control deck. Uh, I'd really like to not be against anything like that. I played a really interesting Proliferate Mono Green deck, uh, which I thought was very interesting. Um, yeah, we definitely keep this. Temple of Silence into Thought Erasure or Agonizing Remorse seems on point. Uh, I'm going to put that on the bottom. We've got plenty of lands. There's 26 lands in the deck, so like we're going to draw more. I hate to take two here, but I think it's worth it. Let's go ahead and do this. Wow. Lots and lots of good stuff. Um, I'm going to get rid of light up the stage. I'm going to put that in the graveyard. Um, I know that seems kind of strange because they've got quite a number of powerhouse cards here, but my plan would be to take out the Chandra next turn. Um, definitely going to take a big hit. I know that, but uh, I think that that puts us in a better position long term. That does give us a long-term answer. Yeah, we'll keep that. Don't know if that's needed, but we're going to try it. So, Skewer the Critics. Robber the Rich is quite good, but I'm going to take the Chandra. That's the thing that we have the hardest time dealing with. If it's a creature, we obviously have Shatter the Sky next turn, so I'm not like super worried about that. Robber the Rich, cool. Uh, sucks because we're going to take a lot of damage here, but... Uh, and they got an Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Okay. But now we sweep, and they're in a much worse position, so we are going to get skewered here. Yeah. Down to five. Uh, I'm just going to play this out. They're going to draw a card here, but I think that's fine. As long as it's not a hasty creature, we're kind of in good shape. Or a burn spell. That's kind of our... That's the scary thing here, is if they have a burn spell. Um, ooh.
I'm going to decline. I can't take it. I mean, they can literally just kill us then with almost anything. Yeah, let's do this. Taking all of their card draw, essentially. Doesn't really matter because I'm about to fable passage here. <clears throat> Grab blue source so we can Narset. Next turn we get to time warp or time wipe. I keep saying warp. Yep. Mortify, that's fine. Risk factor really sucks. Such a good card. Wow. Okay. Hmm. I kind of just want to take this. That does give us an answer for the Chandra, which is nice. We just mortify this. Here's to hoping we don't die. <laughs> uh, very easily we could get burned out here. That's what I'm worried about. Risk factor is going to be a problem because they're going to be able to draw a bunch off of it. So, oh, not good. If they have a shock, we just lose now. Dream Trawler helps significantly. As long as we don't die. Because we can start gaining life back with Dream Trawler. Please don't have a shock. Please no shock. Please no shock. Yes. Good. Good. Yes. It's happening. <laughs> Gain some life back. Perfect. All right, now we're a little bit more out of range. That's fantastic. Oh, duh, risk factor, absolutely terrible because of Narset. Hey, thanks, Narset. Way to be there. I was wondering why they weren't playing. I was like, duh. Hey, we actually won a second game. Cool. So, uh, very fun deck again. Uh, probably not going to revisit this one too much because it is just kind of a silly one. But please leave any deck suggestions in the comment section below. Give me a link. Give me something so I can see what you guys are cooking with. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Make sure to check out the links down below as well. We have our Instagram as well as our Patreon there. You can pick up the proxies that are cycling through right now uh, for the month of March. They are only available through the month of March, so just keep that in mind. But really do appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next gameplay video.